Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to calculate the root mean square error. And to do so we are going to use this layer of pH. This layer has several water quality parameters but we are going to be using pH. So here we have um, some points and we are not going to use all of them to interpolate the, the data. We are going to use only 80% of them to interpolate the data and 20% of them as ground control points. To select only 20% we are going to click on random selection and here in the input layer we will be using pH and method percentage of selected features and number percentage of selected features will be 20%. Then we will click on run and we can open the attribute table and as you can see we have selected the 20% of the data we're not going to do anything in the attribute table yet but we are going to right click on, on the pH layer and click on save as and then in the file name we are going to be uh, saving it as this is the 20%, so ground control point 20. OK, and uh, click on save only selected features and then OK. And now open again the attribute table of pH and click on invert selection. And now we have selected the 80% of the data. Now go again to pH and click on save as and file name. This is the data for interpolation. OK, and click on Save Only Selected Features. And now here we have the 20% of the data and the 80% of the data. So now let's interpolate. We are going to be using the inverse distance weight interpolation and we are going to be using the vector layer pH interpolation attribute pH as well. Click on this green um, app symbol and then no no we are going to be using the data for interpolation. If we use pH then we are using the uh, the whole data set but we have the 80% of the data in data for interpolation. And then the interpolation attribute, pH, and add, um, delete this one, and just, uh, I'll delete it again and do it again. So data for interpolation, pH, and add. And then we are going to select the extent of the analysis Click on these three points and then select Extend on Canvas. I'll cover all the basin and run in background. Close. So here we have the interpolated area. I'm going to change the properties. Just right click on it and Properties, Style single band pseudo color and OK and the color change now we are going to calculate the root mean square error so we are going to be using a plugin you go to plugin manage and install plugin and look for point sampling tool you only have to write point sampling tool and you're going to click on install plugin. After installing the plugin, you go to plugins, analysis and point sampling tool. And here we are going to select layer containing sampling points. The sampling points are in GCP20, which are the ground control points. Because what we're going to do is 
we are going to open an attribute table of this GCP20 and these are the 20% of the data that we are going to use as ground control points. So to each of these data we are going to add another column and we are going to compare the observed values, the pH observed values, with the interpolated values. So now we are going to use this plugin to achieve this goal. So we go to analysis and then point sampling tool. The layer containing sampling points is GCP20 and the layers with fields we're going to look for pH in GCP here it is pH and then we're going to um, select the control key and we are going to select the interpolated band 1 raster okay so here we have selected two, lay two fields or bands, pH in GCP20 and interpolated band 1 raster. And we are going to save it. Go to save it, we click on Browse, find, find your folder, and in this one, we are going to save it as RMSD as a shape file and then save and OK. So now what we have here is a new shape file with points. We can right click on it, open attribute table and we have two columns. Each point has two values, one of pH and one of the interpolated values. So if we create, we want to apply the root mean square error equation and for that we are going to uh, subtract the interpolated values from the observed values. and we click on Open Field Calculator. So here is the square error and the expression will be the interpolate values so it will be interpolate and then the subtraction operator and pH and then we are going to calculate the square value Okay, so now it is the it is the interpolated value, and then the subtraction symbol and the pH or observed value, and then we are going to square them. Okay. So here we have an error, and we can we can do it again because we forgot something. It is very important that here in your field calculator make sure that the output field type is decimal number. So let's do it again. Interpolate subtraction operator pH and square them. Okay. Okay, so now here we have the the squared error 
and what we are going to do next is to to analyze the statistics of this error so to analyze the statistics we only have to know the mean of the squared error and to do so we are going to use basic statistics for fields so you can go to the processing toolbox and look for basic statistics for fields click on it and the input layer will be the RMSE and the field to calculate a statistics on will be SE. We are going to save the file and then start. Okay. Then you open your um, you open your file and here we have the file. So these are the basic statistics of the layer and we have here the mean value. We have a mean value of 0.6 eight zero two and more numbers we're going to use zero point six oh eight oh two we can open the calculator and here we can apply the square root so here we have the result, and this result will be the root mean square error. As you can see, it is correct, and the result it is 0.82. So, according to this result, the root mean square error that we have in the interpolated layer is about 0 0.82 pH values. For instance, if we click on this on here, interpolated, and the interpolated value is 6.67, it could be 6.7 plus 0 0.82 or minus or less, sorry, 6.67 less 0 0.82. Okay, so I hope it helped. See you in the next one.